I mean, I, 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 you can be overrated and still uh, be an all-time great, you know? Um, I, I, the reason I say that is because I wanted to see the Carl Froch fight. Carl Froch has to be, has to fight Kyle Zaggy. I mean, that was just, again, I, I, it's just like, for me, it's the same thing. Ricky Hatton with Junior Witter, you know? Khan and Brooke not fighting each other till the very end fight of their careers. It's the most, personally, as a fan who's not from the UK, but has been to the UK and knows how great their fans are, it is the most frustrating thing to deal with, man. I mean, I'm, I'm just an outsider. I just want to see guys fight. And I know how big those clashes would have been. It's like to not see them happen or to not... Look, Khan and Brooke didn't even fight in their prime. And, and, and on their boxer promotions, they were able to sell out the men arena, man. I mean, it's crazy. I, or what, they don't even call it the MEN anymore. They call it something else. But whatever it is, man. You know you know what I'm talking about. That's not even in their prime, bro. So imagine the blockbuster. You, you might have got two, three fights out of their prime against one another. It had a big rivalry. This is why Ben and Eubank and Watson are loved. Uh, and even Steve Collins are loved because they all fought one another. They fought each other multiple times. Bro, you just... You, 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 you gotta fight the fights, man. I mean, like I said, it's the most frustrating thing for me as an outsider looking at UK boxing. Same with Joshua and Fury, yeah. I mean, you would have loved to have seen that fight. I mean, listen, I think they had their chances to make that fight, you know, and, and they, didn't, they didn't make it. Uh, there was moments in time where Joshua and Fury, when they were both undefeated, could have really, really went at it, man, and, and it would have just been a, a dynamite blockbuster fight. But it didn't happen, man. You know, it's, again, the most frustrating thing about British boxing to me is that they create world-level stars, and when they're in the same weight class, all of a sudden, unlike the Ben Eubank era, they don't fight each other. White and Fury, it was like, you know, it was a standard mandatory uh, shot for, for Dillian White, you know? And, and, and Dillian White honestly would have fought all of them. He fought Joshua too. He fought Joshua before Joshua won a world title, to be honest. So, so Dillian White would have got wanted to get in there. But again, you, you had to make Fury and Joshua. I mean, those were the, 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 two, the two big guns at heavyweight uh, from England at the, in this era. And you haven't seen it.